हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज सुमित एंड आई एम अ सब्जेक्ट मैटर एक्सपर्ट इन सेल फोर्स एनालिटिक्स क्लाउड आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग दिस वीडियो टू डेमोस्ट्रेट यू हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट द ग्रोथ परसेंटेज ईयर ओवर ईयर ऑफ अ सेल्स डेटा सेट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी शो द रिक्वायरमेंट my requirement is something like this that i would like to calculate the growth percentage in wave analytics now to compare sales for two different products is easier and we can present it by using either a bar chart or a line chart or we can present it by a uh, a stacked bar chart as well but here i would like to present i would like to display the sum of uh, the change of sales from the previous year to the next year so then we would be requiring a calculated columns so that would be possible by calculated columns and uh, same i would like to achieve in wave analytics so i have got a sales data set where i have got a sales of respective years from 2012 to 2015 and i would like to find out that what's the sale what's the growth percentage has been done in respective years for a, in different regions or for a specific product so let's begin the customization so i'm using a data set here named as superstore sales data i click on this sales data and as you can see here it will create a link for me it will create a new lens for me and the by default measure is count of rows so i switch this count of rows and i customize it instead of count i'll just use the aggregate function sum of sales and i grouped it based on region so i grouped it based on region and further i want to group it based on years so i'll select order date and in order date i select year so we can change their location so first of all i would i want to group it based on years then i would like to group it based on region so it's vice versa whichever you like now as you can see here the growth uh the sale in the atlantic region in 2012 is less in 2013 so i want to compare based on it so i prefer to move it right and first of all based on region so you can see in atlantic 2012 the total sale was 6 Six eight thousand, then it it drops down, then it further drops down, it further grow goes up, so like this. So these are the respective years in all different regions. So visualization is fine, but I would like to calculate over over year over year, and I would like to present it in a tabular manner, in a tabular form. So for this, first of all, I'll convert this into a compare table, and when I switch it to a compare table. we can find out that we have the atlantic 2012 13 14 15 for northwest northwest territories 2012 13 14 and 15 so my requirement is i would like to compare i would like to find out the year over year growth for respective region so for this we have a new section called calculated columns i want to add a new column here and that column it's like a, a growth percent percent growth and that will display me the growth whether it's the growth we are we whether we are going into a profit or we are going into loss so i'll just expand this click on add a new column we have an option to customize the column so i'll ex expand it and say edit this column and when you click on edit the property is open we can enter the name of a column this is sum of sales instead of sum of sales i write percent growth now you can display the growth either in percent or in figures it's up to you so i want percent growth and the formula will be percentage of growth period over period over year so i'll say percentage of growth and simple i say apply so you can see it has been converted successfully now so it's grow it's going up so in 2013 the growth was 1.4 sorry in 2012 the sale was and the growth was this and also you see it's it's 
continuously calculating the growth. So I reset the group based on region. So and apply. So that's the growth we have done. Instead of this, if I say period over year, because that is the percentage of growth, but I'm interested in period over period. So I click on period over period and I would like to compare year over year because that is this one is displaying the total growth. But my requirement is year over year. So I'll say compare year over year and column is this and percent change. When I click apply, you can see it starts from the beginning. So there is no growth for the 2012 because that's the starting after that you can see it slow it goes down because the sale is 668 and if you say we have a loss of 23.93% in 2014 again we have a loss of 0.29.73% in Atlantic region and then we have a growth of uh, we have a profit of 34.4% in 2015 so like this we can uh, we can calculate the growth or whether we are going to profit or loss over year over year. This is uh, this is one of the formula we have year over year. Also, we have change from previous. I would like to find out what is the change from the previous one. So I click on change from previous and uh, calculate it as a unit change. Instead of percent, I want to display as a unit change. So I will simple say apply and we can see the unit change. So we are going to loss of this much money. And then again, we come into the profit. Same thing we can apply with period over year as well. Here, this, this is over year, year over year. We are comparing this over year, year over year, and the calculator, the percent change, we can display as a unit change as well. And the format will be in numbers. So same thing will be applicable in uh, by using this formula, period over year as well. So I'll just apply. If you want to look at the formula, simple click on formula. That's the formula. You can copy this formula and apply in any other solution. It's pretty fine if I want to customize it. So let's suppose I did changes and now I would like to present in a, I want to show this as a bar so I can show this as a bar. Red indicates we are going into loss and yellow indicates we are going into profit. So I hope you found this interesting how to calculate the growth percent year over year. If you want to further group it, you have an option. We have an option that we can uh, apply more growth. So we can calculate the growth on more groups. For example, I would like to grow. I would like to calculate the growth on a specific product. So we have a product category and we can further group it that in 2012. So I'll just move this product category in left and then we have in furniture in 2012 we have this much sale and we can we can find out the growth. We can calculate the growth. It's in uh, it's whether it's in a negative or in a positive. So that's how we can further group it. So that's all in this video. I hope you found this video interesting. If that's so don't forget to press the like button. You can share your comments as well in our comment box keep watching have a nice day goodbye